Now, Jacksonian democracy is the next system in the long line of American political philosophies. This time, it's coming out of the rise of Jeffersonian democracy. After noticing the elitist election with like John Quincy Adams, um, Andrew Jackson felt like he needed to rally his supporters and stop this natural aristocracy that Jefferson wanted to create. And Jefferson democracy was kind of falling into Federalist hands and they were kind of merging into one. So Jacksonian democracy wanted to preserve the true values of it. So instead of having a merit base, they had a spoiled system, which was basically, if you're my friend and I get elected or I get elected and you pay me, then congratulations, you get an important position. And this would stick around for quite a bit, but it was still not the merit system, but arguably more corrupt. Jacksonian democracy wishes to expand democracy into certain interest groups. Those interest groups just happen to be white men, which was a common suffrage plight at this time, but they gave power to a poor white man, so you didn't have to be a rich landowner to actually vote in elections. So props to them, but still kind of a racist system though, because doesn't want women and doesn't want anyone who's not white. And we can see more of this racist policy with the anti-immigration to, say, Irishmen. And so they still cared about white men, but more of a cultural racism rather than just straight up racism, wishing to try and manifest destiny and keep out anyone who wasn't already American. Jacksonian democracy had a strong interest in manifesting destiny to spread throughout the American West and try and take over. And this is what we see as the common philosophy for the Democratic Party until the Civil War, saying we need to take all of this land and expand and have a strong imperialist sentiment. And we can see that manifesting destiny gave more opportunity to the white man that Jacksonian democracy was trying to give more power to, as they believe that the natural aristocracy had lost its plight with people, that they've just been collecting money, and now they are the very thing that they said they weren't going to be, which was just bougie kings. It also saw the federal bank being destroyed because they saw it as a way that rich white men earn more money to be rich white men, and it didn't help the poor white men, and anyone else didn't really matter. Like Jeffersonian democracy, Jacksonian democracy saw agrarian as the best possible solution, that the agrarian farmer is just a poor farmer who needs more land and needs more rights. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed that video. Sorry, um, this is a bit rushed. I've been super busy, but you know, hopefully you'll have a good day and everything will be all right. Um, yeah, um, I don't know what else to say. I don't know, I've been super busy lately, so I'm just trying to get this out for you guys. Have a good one. Bye!